This video is a response to a forum posting. This is actually a drawing that was posted on a forum. And someone wanted to know how to actually cap off the bottom of this. I guess what they were asking about was a planar surface. Now this is a fairly complex model. But on the bottom we can see it's not a solid because it has no bottom. So to do this what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and need to get some good edges along the bottom. So just like any other solid we'll use extract edges and we'll pick from so from single and what we'll do is individually grab each surface that's along the bottom to get this bottom profile so that we can then cap it off so if we go from solid we're going to get way too many lines on the screen so it's just going to be easier to individually pick out what lines and what areas we want to work with so once we get the entire bottom of this We'll go ahead and right click, then left click OK. And then we can hide or blank the model that's left on the screen. Then we're left with these good edges that we can go ahead and use. I'm just going to rotate the view over so I can kind of isolate that bottom profile. We'll come to our selection, delete out all of the vertical lines, as well as that top ring just being left with this bottom profile. Now, since this is not a flat or planar surface, planar is not going to work. Um, most surfaces that look like they may be a planar surface but they're a little bit twisted around you can usually use the skin function to create them so before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and then we'll go ahead and apply a skin so I'll come here to surfaces skin now what you need to do is break this in your head into four equal edges or four edges that have two rails and then two parallel lines. So I'm going to say this will be my first rail from here to here and then this will be the second from here to here that oppose each other. Then we can pick the two rails going the opposite way. So we'll come on this side and then on this, uh, this side. We'll then right click and left click OK It'll take a moment, then we can see that there's a skin surface generated. So if the shape is too complex for a simple planar surface, you can always use skin to put it together. We can now unblank the model, and then we'll be able to stitch these together. We'll come to Utility Stitching and stitch the surfaces to a solid. And now we can select all of this model. And we now have what should be a good solid. Now, the only thing to really keep in mind when doing things like this is you have to keep in order to work with this as a solid it has to be watertight so you do want to make sure you have no little gaps or openings around the edge of your model so that's how you could place what would be a skin surface on something that might look slightly flat you can break this apart into four edges pretty much by imaginar imagining a box drawn around the part kind of separating each edge that would then fit into those lines and that concludes this video.